is going on everybody? I'm back with another YouTube video and on today's video guys we're going to be doing yet again another book review and I have a lot of announcements to make of course. So as you can see it's kind of an unfamiliar time of day for me to be doing a YouTube video and I kind of thought about this at last second because I had just finished my uh the girl who cried monster book and I know I told you guys I was working on that one. I actually kind of speed runned it um at school today uh since it was a Friday and we weren't really doing a whole lot. I figured I'd get this book review out of the way before I do the one day at Horrorland because, um, I mean, I just finished it today, so it'll be a lot easier to remember and stuff like that. And, of course, I'm doing this video at the night time because it was a last-second decision. So, of course, you're going to see me in the Home Alone uh, pajamas. Uh, I, I wear them uh, whenever I really can. Whenever um, I wash them, I'll wear something else. But And then you're seeing the rare occasion where I'm actually wearing my hoodie over my head. I figured I'd do that so you guys feel nice and warm and comfy during this video uh, because it is, of course, going to be the nighttime. And I know some of you are probably some night owls out there. You're going to see this video uh, when it first comes up. Um, and uh, maybe I'll stream tonight as well. Um, and if I do stream, it'll be during when this video is probably up. The stream will probably be going. Uh, so go ahead and hop on that. Um, and as you can see, I'm also wearing my Unis Honest lanyard in support as well. Still have not gotten a shirt, so we're still waiting for that. Uh, so you guys can get to see that. And my last announcement. I'm very sorry that I did not get the ghost to bunk out yesterday. Um, I, I did put up a community post. It didn't look like any of you seen it. Um, and I, I need some requests. For the ghost debunk if you're going to do that i scrolled through some videos and i was actually about to make the ghost debunk and one of this these cool youtubers that i was really excited to bunk deleted his channel so it it's gonna be really really hard so i need some requests guys um but fortunately though be, even though i didn't get the video out yesterday my friends have set up a Discord sorter, uh, server for me, uh, and it's got lots of channels to look at and stuff like that, different stuff we'll talk about. Um, so go ahead and hop on that. From now on, in every video, I will putting, be putting the link to the Discord server in the description, so make sure you check that. Um, we just started it yesterday, so we would like to see it. Uh, some of my fans from my YouTube channel come on rather than just everybody from my school. With all that being said, let's talk about... Goosebumps book number eight, which is The Girl Who Cried Monster. All right, so I do have, of course, the original copy. They did make a 2003 reprint copy, but they never, I, at least I don't think so, they never made a 2008 reprint copy. So this is the only copy I have. This is much like my other review. Um, and now let's pretty much get talking about this book. I, I do want to mention, in contrast, the episode compared to the book, just to get it right off the way. I never really liked the episode to begin with, so I had to come in very optimistic when talking or when reading the book, because uh, in the beginning, I didn't really enjoy it very well. I was kind of like, oh man, I'm, I'm not liking where this is going, but then it starts to get better, and I'll talk about that later, but in contrast to the episode, it, it um, the, the book is just superior in a lot of ways. I felt that the, the episode was just very opaque very dull, very bland, and I feel like there could have been more uh, added to it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it has to do with the runtime of the episode, obviously. Uh, but the book, it just had much more to offer. Um, every time the girl came into the library, it was almost like nobody else was there. There was a not, a, not a lot of other characters in, co in the conflict. Um, in fact, the character that they bring in, Aaron, in this book, came in a little bit earlier than they introduced him in the episode. I think he showed up a few times in the last few scenes, and they didn't do much with him. But I really, really like what they did uh, in the book here. So the, the book is just superior in so many ways, and I don't want to talk too much about the episode, because obviously this is a book review, not about the episode. But I just wanted to give you a contrast about that, uh, because when I came into this book, I... I, I had to be very optimistic uh, after watching the episode, so I didn't know how it was going to go. I'll say this. At the beginning, it's a very slow start. It's much like Let's Get Invisible. It starts out slow, and then it gets a lot, lot better towards kind of the climax, the turning point of the book. Now, this book does what I hate Goosebumps books do a lot, is where they have a character, the main character, and they... Throughout the entire book, it's just the parents 
or the uh, brothers and sisters not believing in them. And at least, I will say this, at least in this book, they actually gave a pretty good reason why they wouldn't uh, believe her. Uh, so unlike other books where they're just, they, they just dumb reasons why they don't believe her. She always loved t telling uh, monster uh, stories, Lucy, the main character. She just loved uh, telling monster stories and scaring her brother all the time. So, of course, her, or her parents are not going to buy into her crap throughout this entire book. Until the end, when you find out the twist. So, at least they didn't screw you over completely. That was one of my pet peeves about this book. Other than that, really good book. It had a slow start, had that little pet peeve, but then it got a lot better once it had that turning point. I really, really liked how the main character was kind of very, very curious about um, what Mr. Morton was doing throughout the book. I thought it was really cool. You know, I, I, I shouldn't really um, encourage stalking. What just dropped? Oh my god, guys. It's a ghost. Anyways, you know, I shouldn't encourage um, uh, stalking or whatever, but I really liked what, the, you know, what they did. Uh, with the main character and Mr. Morton, uh, Mortman throughout the book. I really, really liked how she would stay in overnight just to watch him form into this monster and eat the flies and stuff like that. And then when he finally finds out that he's been stalking her all this time, he acts very, very strange around her and obviously tries to hide it from his parents when he comes over to the house um, and uh, um, all that kind of stuff. I'll say this, though. You know, I know it, you know, not everything's going to be logical in this book, obviously. When she took the pictures and they didn't show um, Mr. Morton as a Mortman as a monster, I, I really didn't like how they did that. I know it's a Goosebumps book, but I, I feel like that was kind of unnecessary in this book, especially given that coming at the twist at the end, the parents were actually monsters and they... Um, were trying to get rid of Mr. Mortman because they didn't want anybody else to know about monsters in town besides the parents. So they're trying to keep it a secret, I guess. Uh, that was actually a very unexpected and good twist. Obviously, I have watched the episode, uh, so I already knew what was going to happen. Um, and But coming even coming into the episode or the book, you would have probably no idea uh, about this twist that was happening. So this is a twist book, and I really, really liked... Uh, how they did that at the end and that's pretty much all there really is to say not a lot to say about um uh the girl who cried monster um and i think this is a lot shorter because i just watched or i just finished uh reading uh the girl who cried monster today um but yeah that's pretty much all there is to say about the girl who cried monster very very great book uh it started out slow but then it got a lot better and better Throughout the book, I, I, you know, I should mention Aaron when he got interested in the, introduced in the book. Um, that definitely added um, a little bit more to it instead of keeping it this bland book with not a lot to offer, just pretty much a Lucy, and that's it. Uh, so I really liked when they uh, introduced Aaron uh, late into the book. Uh, it added a little bit more uh, to offer uh, rather than just being a bland book and stuff like that. That's one more thing that. Uh, mentioned because like I said they did not do that with the episode I mean they I think they did a little bit with uh Aaron at the end it was uh it was that um yeah I, I can't remember exactly what he looked like um in the episode but they they didn't really show much for him but I'm happy they uh did a lot with the girl who cried monster so if I had to rate this book well we have to take a few points off for it not being the best beginning to a book and some of the pet peeves that it has some of the similarities it has to so many other goosebumps books um if i'm going to give it a rating i definitely give it a solid seven out of ten i think that's definitely where it deserves to go i could be nice and give it eight out of ten but i think seven out of ten is definitely uh where it should be at uh you know with some of the stuff that they like to do with goosebumps books um, some of the things they do in here are just not my predilection, predilection, Jesus, not my predilection, um, with the whole, they don't believe her throughout the book and stuff like that. That's why I like other books like Attack the Mutant, where they do stuff different. Uh, but in, but in this book, despite that, it's still a really, really good book for what it has to offer. And that's pretty much all there is to say about the girl who cried monster. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm, once again, 
very sorry that I did not get the ghost debunk out. Uh, but I need some requests if you want it to still come out. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to be making a poll until then because I still want to get the ghost debunk out there for you. Uh, but make sure you join that Discord server. It will be in the link in the description. And in the Discord server, you can give me your own video ideas in the video ideas channel. And I think those are all the announcements I need to say. I said pretty much all I did or I need to say in the introduction. Uh, so like and subscribe, guys. And I'll see you next time. so hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of different feeling of a video um bruh